What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm gonna share something very, very useful for you guys. And as Samsung Galaxy phone users, I think you should know all these options available on your Galaxy phones. But before we go ahead, if you're interested in this beautiful looking wallpaper on the home screen, and I have also set the same wallpaper on the lock screen as well. Uh, it's a very gorgeous wallpaper. If you're interested, you can go ahead and check the links in the description uh, to download this. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. So go ahead, download them. And and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to create a strong Android community here, specifically the uh, Galaxy phones community. So go ahead, become a part of Apex community and uh, give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now, let's dive right into the video. Now we all know inside the gallery application, when we go to the uh, videos, uh, and let's say I open a particular video, you will see this film strip right here at the bottom. Now this was kind of borrowed from uh, iPhones. iPhones did have this kind of film strip uh, since long and Samsung borrowed this feature, I think a couple of years ago. It's kind of nice, but Samsung goes a step ahead and offers some additional features or additional options to seek these videos inside your gallery application. Now on this default film strip, we can just tap on a specific video and we can tap on that again uh, to seek this video, you can just fast forward or rewind this video by uh, swiping towards the left or right. But while we do this, uh, sometimes we tend to go to the next video when we go to the end of this video that we are watching. You see, while swiping this, we might skip to the next video sometimes and this is an issue with this kind of a film strip view. Now, if you want, we can actually make some changes to this film strip. We have got some additional options which I'm going to show you. First one is completely getting rid of this film strip. Let me open gallery here. Let me go to the videos. Now you see, I do not have a film strip at all here at the bottom. I can swipe to the right uh, to go to the next video and uh, I can actually go back here and uh, get into some other video and you will be able to only see that particular video. There is no film strip. You have to swipe towards the right or left to go to the next video or next images. Now this is one option, disabling the film strip completely if you do not want to see what is coming next at the bottom. Now actually I do not suggest this particular option. Let me show you the next option that we have. Let me open gallery again let's go to the videos now let me open this video here now you see we get this play video button right here if you tap on this thumbnail or on this strip here you will not be able to expand it you will have to tap on this play video button to play that video you'll of course get a slider here you can uh, double tap on this to seek this is actually opening the video in the video player and when you tap on that you will see all these options over here let me do this again let me play the video on video player i'll pause this uh, we do have some additional options here uh, to edit the video, uh, background play on, uh, details, settings, options. So these are all the options that we have on video player. So uh, you are opening this video in video player itself uh, when you tap on this play video button right here. So we have got video player application running right here whenever you open a particular video. Now this is another option having a video play button right here at the bottom. And here you cannot expand this video and uh, seek the video here. Now let me go ahead and show you the third and the best option that we have. This is called Legacy Video Seek Bar. Let me open gallery. Again, I'll go to the videos. Now let me open the same video here. Now you see we have got a video seek bar right here at the bottom. We can just use the slider to fast forward or rewind the video here and just pause this video right here. And if you want to create GIF, you can tap on this three dot button and then tap on create GIF. You will be able to create this GIF right here. You can edit this. You can select the portion that you want. Just tap on save to create a GIF here. And if you want to take a screenshot, you can take the screenshot from right here. You see, it just takes the screenshot and saves it in the gallery. Again, here you cannot expand this thumbnail and you actually do not get to uh, play the video directly in video player, but you get a video seek bar, which is quite functional. And while you're here, if you want to open this video in video player, you can tap on the three dot button, tap on open in video player. Now you will get some additional functionalities. You can fast forward by double tapping on the right or rewind it by double tapping on the left. I feel this is the best option available. We do have the film strip at the bottom and we have a video seek bar right here and we can take the screenshots, we can create GIF and we can also open it in video player. Now all these options are available on this legacy video seek bar option. Now, I will tell you how exactly you can enable these options. Let's go ahead. You need to be inside the gallery, tap on this hamburger menu, tap on settings. All the way down, you have got gallery labs right here. Now this is not available by default. You need to tap on about gallery and keep tapping on the version number here. 
uh, you will be able to enable the gallery labs once that is enabled it will come and sit here right at the bottom just open that and here we've got some brilliant advanced options uh, on gallery labs i've already discussed all these features in my previous videos now let me just scroll down here we have got film strip in viewer option you can disable this to completely remove film strip or enable this and then you get a video player mode on film strip options we've got default none and legacy video seek bar the first one i showed was default then we saw the play video button option to play the videos directly on video player and then we have got legacy video seek bar where we get to seek the video by using a slider and it is also functional as well now let me tap on ok once you selected it just close the uh, gallery again and then reopen it to see this option when you go to the gallery you will be able to see this seek, uh, video seek bar right here at the bottom and this will also work when you're in the uh, pictures uh, tab let me open the pictures tab here you see we have got the uh, film strip here and when you scroll towards the right the video will start playing and you can use the seek bar right here at the bottom amazing isn't it now these are some brilliant features or brilliant advanced options we have got for video seek bar or let's say for the film strip on the galaxy phone let me know which is your favorite option have you already seen set it on your galaxy phone or not drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, give this video a like if you find this informative and yeah do not forget to download this uh, beautiful looking wallpaper whoever has created this uh, kudos to them it's a brilliant wallpaper uh, i'm sharing today so go ahead download it if you like it that's about it thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye